So in order for cells to carry out the many chemical reactions they need, substances must enter and leave the cell. Now this happens in three ways, diffusion, osmosis, and active transport. So in active transport, sometimes uh, a cell will need to take in a substance against a concentration gradient. If you remember back to diffusion, molecules move from a high concentration to a low concentration. That's fine if the cell is in an environment where there is a high concentration of something outside the cell that it wants, then it will move in. But what if a cell is in a situation where it already has quite a lot of these molecules inside? Uh, like this diagram shows, and there's only a few outside, so there's a much lower concentration outside, but it still wants to get those in to the cell. Well, for that, you're gonna need to do active transport, and this requires energy release from respiration. You can't move something against a concentration gradient without using energy to power this process. Diffusion is passive, it doesn't require any energy. The molecules have their own energy, and you don't need to add any extra energy. But here, we need to use energy to move them against a concentration gradient from a low to a high concentration gradient. So active transport is really the opposite of diffusion. Now, a few examples in, uh, where it will come up uh, in your course are the most obvious one is the absorption of plant minerals um, uh, in the roots of plants, okay? Uh, plants need various minerals that they get from the soil, things like magnesium and phosphates and nitrates. And these are in relatively low concentrations in the soil and therefore need to be absorbed by active transport into the roots. The other place will be uh, in the small intestine. Okay, so maybe you need to absorb molecules in the, uh, from your food digestion uh, into your blood in the small intestine. And again, to get all of the useful molecules from the uh, inside the intestine into the blood, there will be some active transport involved to get the low concentration of molecules into potentially a high area of higher concentration in the blood. Okay, a quick concept check, uh, true or false for these 10 questions, um, just to check your understanding of this whole section on diffusion, osmosis, and active transport. Okay, so let's go through these. So diffusion can happen in solids, true or false? Well, that is false. Diffusion only happens in um, uh, gases and liquids. In solids, the particles are fixed and they can't move around in the same way. Osmosis is about the movement of water, that's true. Osmosis is all about water, moving from a high water potential to low water potential across a partially permeable membrane. Always you spell out osmosis like that to answer questions on it. Use the whole definition to get the marks. The absorption of minerals in plant roots happens by diffusion, that is false. It happens by active transport. Heating up particles gives them more kinetic energy, that is true. When you heat up particles, they move around more. If they move around more, they will diffuse quicker. A very salt solution, salty solution has a high water potential. That is false. Pure water has a high water potential. Salty solutions would have a low water potential. The more you dissolve in a solution, the lower the water potential comes. A large organism has a large surface area to volume ratio. That is false. It would have a small surface area compared with its large volume. Diffusion has to happen across a membrane. That is false. Diffusion can just happen in the air. It's just like when you smell something, somebody sprays some perfume. If you're close to it, you will smell it first. Somebody further away, it will take longer to get to them. The molecules are diffusing. They don't have to go across a membrane. That is only in osmosis that a membrane has to be involved. Osmosis is from high water potential to low water potential. That is true. Active transport is against a concentration gradient. That is true, which requires energy, remember, to move it against concentration gradient. And the further the distance, the faster diffusion occurs is false. The shorter the distance, the faster diffusion occurs. A kind of question you might get on this in an exam, well, osmosis is a very popular question. Um, so this one here, we've got a uh, plant that is clearly wilted. The question says, Ben waters his plants with salt water by mistake. Explain why the plant wilts four marks. Okay, and here is the mark scheme. So salt water has a low water potential. Therefore, water moves out of the plant cells from the high water potential inside the cell to the low water potential outside the cell, across a partially permeable membrane, 
by osmosis. Remember to spell it out and yet there's the marks for saying those points. Therefore, the cells go flaccid or plasmalized, good use of keywords, that's another mark, and so therefore the plant wilts.